In the last tutorial, we spent some time in the audio MIDI setup application in OS X, making the virtual connection between my MIDI controller or MIDI interface and my external MIDI instrument. So in that application, we made a virtual MIDI connection from the output of my MPK to the input of my Motif Rack ES. Well, now we actually have to make the real physical connection between these two devices. Here you see my simple, basic, one external MIDI instrument setup. I have my MIDI controller, or MIDI interface in this case, which is my Akai MPK25, and I have my external instrument. So we have to make a real connection between the MIDI out on this device on my MIDI controller to the MIDI in on my Motif because it's not a virtual instrument. That would complete the MIDI signal flow. But remember, the sounds that the Motif Rack EX creates are also on board on the actual device. So we also have to make the audio connections between the Motif Rack ES and Logic. So let's do both. Let's turn this around, look at the back, and actually make those connections. Here you can see that the Akai is physically connected to my computer via the USB cable. That is also representative of port 1 that we saw in the audio MIDI setup and is sending MIDI to and from the computer. Next to it, you see the two old school 5-pin MIDI connectors that represent port 2, and that's how we will send MIDI from the computer to the external MIDI instrument. Here I have an old school 5-pin MIDI connector. I'm going to firmly place that connection into the MIDI output on the Akai MPK. Now these cables have five pins in a specific orientation. If it's not going in, don't force it. That means you don't have the pins lined up correctly. Just a quick check here to make sure they're properly seated. Now you can't forget about the audio signal flow. You have to get sound out of your external instrument and into Logic. In this case, I'm going to use my Apogee Duet, which is a simple two-channel audio interface and is perfect for this basic one instrument external MIDI setup. So I have two balanced quarter inch cables that I'll use to bring the audio out of the stereo output and into my Apogee. I'm going to connect the first cable to the left side of the stereo output on my Motif. And then I'm going to take the other end of it and put it into the input, input one or the left side of the stereo input on my Apogee. I'm going to take the other quarter inch cable and do the same thing on the right side. Out of the Motif right and into the Apogee on the right side. And that does it. You have your MIDI signal flow and you have your audio signal flow. Out of Logic MIDI into the external instrument, out of the external instrument audio back into Logic.